developing people's skills through his lectures, through his audios, through his books. So I'd really encourage you, even if you just take one thing away from what he's going to share with you today, I'm sure it's going to help you take your your network marketing business um, to the next level. And how apt is it that his book, which has just come out called How to Build Your Network Marketing Nutrition Business Fast, has just come out. So uh, there couldn't be a better time for us to have Tom. I know he's in, I think you're, it's 12 o'clock at night, right? In, uh, in Bangkok, Thailand. Yeah. Yes, it is. Midnight. Yes. Okay. Look, the floor is yours. Your picture is a bit unstable, but we can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, fix this while you write something down really quick. Uh, the, the scary thing for people is we're afraid to talk to people because we're afraid of rejection. We don't want to look like a salesman. We don't like something to be too good to be true. Uh, we're just scared about it. So if you're scared, that's perfectly normal because we just don't, don't want to look like a sleazy salesman. So here is a great close that you can use anytime you want, and it will never, ever uh, be pressure. Uh, there's no rejection, and, and people love it. So if you have a pen and paper, uh, write this down. The first words are, so you don't have to do anything, comma. You don't have to do anything, comma. And when we do that, uh, people relax. They say, wow, I don't have to do anything. That means that I can uh, keep where I am. I know how that works out. I won't feel bad. So great, great, great. I don't have to do anything, comma. And what we've done is we've told them, I don't know, it's, it's safe or not pushy. It's going to be an option and people love the option where they say option means if i do it i don't it's okay so we say you don't have to do anything comma and things will remain the same period and things will remain the same and they think well that seems reasonable and very safe so i don't have to do anything i don't have to change i don't have to take a, take a risk i don't have to give you any money i don't have to change my coffee you know everything's fine but what we've done is given them the first of two choices. Now, the human mind loves minimal choices. It doesn't like to think. You know, 20% of our energy is used by our brain. So it's always trying to save energy for emergencies. So it doesn't like to think. It says save a whole bunch of hard thinking for Netflix tonight. But please, please don't make me think. So make it easy. So we're going to limit it to two choices. And their human brain will love this. So the first one is stay the same. Keep your miserable life exactly the way it is with no changes. And that causes people to say, relax, uh, it's an option. Now here's what the option does. Option says it means it's okay to take it or not to take it. And if whatever I choose, it's gonna be okay with you and you're not gonna pressure me. So it changes their whole mindset, all this resistance go away, and all their fear goes away, which is important, so they can think clearly. And I say, all right, so one of my options is I don't do it, and the other option, of course, would be that I do it. Easy. Now, how we feel on the inside for us is, my son has this really great story. He says, imagine you and I sit down for a cup of coffee. And the waitress comes and says, uh, do you want cream with your coffee? And you say yes, and I say no. You don't see the waitress run back in the kitchen with the cream and slam it against the wall and yell, it's a pyramid, I've been rejected, I quit. No, it was only an option. So if we change our mindset that it's only an option we give people, all of a sudden, things change. Our microfacial expressions change. Our tone of voice change. They read our intention differently in our face. A lot of cool stuff happens. So your mother looked into your bedroom when you are small. The first thing we did is looked at her face and sized up her face, saying, is her face saying uh, things are good or bad? Is this going to be a, a good conversation or not? So humans are used to prejudging us before we've said our first word. And you say, really? Yeah, so they already have made up their mind. They've read our face, try to figure out our intention. 
And you know this to be true, because how many people here can smell a salesman a mile away? Yeah, I hear a salesman coming. I just know by the look in their face. Well, we can control the look in our face, our voice, our body language, everything automatically, just with one simple thought, and that is I'm just giving them an option. Now, an option also means to them that, well, this option won't do me any good unless I, I can use it. So let me look for reasons why this option could work for me. And so I'm looking for reasons why instead of why not. So a lot of good things are going on already. So we say, so you don't have to do anything and things will remain the same, period. And then we'll say, or if you are ready to change now, buy now, join now, let's just say, or if you are ready to change now, comma, let's get started. And they go, whoa, all right. So I have a choice here. I can keep where I am or get started. There's no in between. If I want to think it over, that's the same as saying no. I'll keep things the same. So I only have two choices here. And my two choices are stay the same or take what you offer, which will give me a benefit. And then they can make their choice. So let me show you how we would use this at the end of a presentation. So you show them a, I don't know, a gold pack, a platinum pack, a, a pack worth two thousand dollars, and you say, "All right, time to wrap it up here. I don't want to feel nervous." So you say, "All right, so you know that's how our business works." And silence. And you say, "All right, I'm going to, have to say something. What am I going to say?" Well, we're going to say, "So you don't have to do anything." And uh, things remain the same, you know, you commute to work, have your job, you know, that's it. Or if you want to join our business now, we can start working on firing your boss so you can have that life you want. Two options, really easy. And they don't feel pressure, they say, wait a minute, it's my choice now. You gave me power to make the choice. So which one's going to serve me better? So let's try this. So you don't have to do anything and continue drinking the same coffee. Or if you want your coffee to make you healthier, let's get you a box. Hey, now. Tom, do you want to turn off your camera? Because um, I think that will, the sound just goes in and out just a little bit. So if you turn your camera off, um, hmm. Oh, total a uh, total video off like that. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Right. So you don't have to do anything, and things will remain the same. Or if you're ready to start losing weight now, uh, let's get you a shake so you can have a shake every morning instead of your normal fattening breakfast. Or you know, you don't have to do anything and your immune system will stay the same. Or if you're ready to build your immune system now, let's get you some Canoderma. And you say, well, that was so nice, so polite. Anybody could do that. And the answer is, yeah. So that's the first close. You say, well, I could use this anywhere at any time. And the answer is yes. Now, here's why I like this particular close. As most of us know, the human mind oh, sorts you. things out in the first, oh, I don't know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds for the most. We have so many decisions to make that we are forced to just take a tiny bit of information and make a yes or no decision because the next decision is waiting to be made. Right now, you might be thinking, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? Uh, who fed the dog? What am I going to do at work tomorrow? How am I going to handle this bill that came in? You, know, you have a, a thousand decisions waiting to be made, pressuring, my turn, my turn. So as soon as a decision has to be made now, your mind is saying, how can I make it quick? How can I make it just by looking at somebody's face before they've even talked? So we are trained as humans to make snap decisions on tiny bits of information. So the reality is, when somebody meets us, they want to make up their minds in the first 10 or 15 seconds, and usually they do. So this particular close can help you with um, irritable people. For instance, I want to talk to my cigar-smoking, used car salesman, evil uncle. 
So I call him up and I say, hey, uncle, I, I got this business. To, and he says, oh, it's you, pyramid boy. All right, loser, what are you trying to sell me this time? Now, I already have a feeling that um, this is going to be hard. But I'm disable this right away. Right away. And listen to the word. I'm going to say, uh, Uncle, relax. You don't have to do anything, and your life will be exactly the same. Or if you'd like to have an extra paycheck to top off your pension, let's talk. Now, the uncle has a choice. Uh, do I just hang up on my jerk nephew and say, I don't even want to talk? Or do I say, yeah, I want to have an extra check? Now, all of a sudden, all the negativity went away, and he's already has his closing options. So he says, you know what? Let's talk. So when he says, let's talk, what decision has he made already? And the answer is, yeah. You don't have to do anything. And that takes all the pressure off of people. So I'm talking to my best friend. I say to my best friend, I, I just started a business. You know, I'd like you to be in business with me. And he goes, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a scared. And you say, relax. You don't have to do anything. And, you know, your life will be the same. No worries. But if you'd like to go in business with me and maybe have a chance for us to be your own boss and never work again. Um, let's talk. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, let's talk. And the decision's made before we even mention the name of the company. So this is one of the easiest ways of closing. So if you're scared or introverted, you can use it. So I'll do one more. So I just want to talk to my mom about the coffee. And I says, Mom, I, I got to tell you about this coffee. She's, oh, I says, Mom, relax. You don't have to do anything. And uh, don't change your coffee. It'll be fine. Or if you'd like your coffee to actually make you live longer and be healthier, we can talk. She has a choice. She says, well, yeah, let's talk. And she's already made a yes decision in her mind before we've even mentioned the name of the product yet. So that's the first close. Here's the second close. The second close that we can use with people in case we're a little bit uh, hesitant to talk to them or afraid what's going to happen at the end. And this one is so easy. So if you have your pen ready, let's write this one down. It says, does it make sense to, does it make sense to Now, what happens when we say those five words? Does it make sense to already they have made a decision? Well, of course it makes sense. Uh, I'm going to agree with this because I'm not an idiot. So we just say, does it make sense to? And then we uh, tell them what we are offering or tell them we what, what we want to do. So does it make sense to, comma, and then we're going to say instead of, and then uh, stay in where you are. Now we've won already by saying, does it make sense? By the time we said, does it make sense to, after those five words, they're saying, I, I wanna say yes already. Please let me say yes in their mind. I'm a sensible person. I don't make stupid decisions. I'm not an idiot. So here, here's some example. Does it make sense to, change to a coffee that makes you healthier, comma, instead of drinking coffee that's not good for you. Wow, that was an easy choice. Or does it make sense to have the best tasting latte in the world anytime you want it, instead of standing in line and paying $5 too much for a cup of, of a latte? Well, yeah. Or does it make sense to 
take Ganoderma so we're healthier, comma, instead of having crummy health like everybody around us? Or does it make sense to get the big pack so we can start at the top instead of starting at the bottom? Or does it make sense to have the big pack so we have some inventory to start our business instead of trying to start a business from an empty store? And when we say that, they say, well, yeah, it makes sense. And almost everybody's going to say yes. Now, not everybody. You know, some people are going to have issues. They just had a fight with their spouse one minute before we met them. Or their mother dropped them on their head when they were a kid. Or, or they have some other issues. They just got fired at work or something, and their mind is in a bad place. But most people are going to say yes immediately. And they've already closed themselves before we, we get too far into this conversation. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, this sounds really good. I can say this to my friend and my mom, and they won't feel pressure. They're going to feel in control because I just say, you know, does it doesn't make sense to do what I've just told you, my offer, instead of keeping your life the same? And they say, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Now, what happens, I know what you're thinking this, is what happens if they don't say yes? What am I going to do? I don't want to be uncomfortable. So if they don't say yes right away, we can say these words. We're going to say, okay, what do you think would be a good next step? Period. Okay, so what do you think would be a good next step? And what they will choose as the next step will always be something better than staying where they are. They always want to move forward. It's just human nature. Here's an example. Well, does it make sense to get the big pack so we can start at the top instead of a small pack or we're only going to have a small business? Well, well, uh, I, I can't do a small pack. Uh, we're, we're out of money. I want to talk to my spouse first. Uh, I, I'm afraid to make big decisions. I have a tiny brain. I, whatever. Uh, but so I, I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. You say, okay. Uh, what do you think would be a good next step then? And they go, well, I, I can't afford like four boxes to start. Okay. Or we say, so does it make sense to join now instead of putting off having your own business forever? Well, I'm, a, I'm scared to start right now. I got to talk to the squirrels in the backyard. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what do you think would be a good next step? I guess a good next step for me would be to come to a meeting to see if there's other people involved or get on a Zoom call with Dr. Bob or just have a person-to-person -person conversation with Pete. And all right, they're always moving forward. So those are two of the easiest closes I know that makes it, I don't know, effortless to talk to people. We'll never feel rejected because all we do is offer people an option. And the option is, keep your miserable life the same or do something better for your life with what I just offered you. And they can make the choice. And because it's an option, we're never rejected. They never feel pressured. And it's easy. So let's review. We just need to practice these in real life. So you say, all right, well, how am I going to practice? I'm, uh, I'm kind of scared. And I say, all right, just practice on your family. Say to your kids tonight for dinner, say, Hey, hey, uh, relax. You don't have to eat your vegetables. No worries. But if you'd like to have the Wi-Fi code for this evening, I think you might want to start eating those vegetables now. Great clothes for the kids. Or, or you could say, does it make sense to clean your room now instead of having no television privileges for the rest of the week? They're going to make a, a choice. Say, well, that first option sounds pretty good. And it's so easy to close people, and you're going to be messing with people all week just, just practicing these. And all of a sudden, when our fear goes away, people read that in our face, and they read in our face, hey, you're here to help me. You're here to give me a, a good option. 
yeah, let's talk. So that's why I like these two particular closes. It's fun for people, and there's no harm for us. We never feel bad or embarrassed, and it's even good for shy people like me. I'm not uh, open or talk to anyone like Pete. I'm more the person that would hide in the corner, but either of us could use these with devastating effect on people. So those are the two closes. I'll type, uh, I'll cut and paste them in the chat here. So anybody has them and say, well, I didn't quite get it right. Or I didn't understand your Texan accent. Uh, let me uh, just cut and paste them here and you can take it from there. So Pete, uh, let's open up for any questions they have because all we promised them was you can become a champion closer right away just by saying a, a couple cool words. And these two closes, I've written like 40 plus books and two of the books are on closing. These two closes aren't in the book. I thought, hey, let's cover a couple of new ones that for all the people who've read the two books on closing, uh, they could do these. So there they are in the chat. You can cut and paste. And both of them will work for pre-closing and they'll both work for closing at the end. So Pete, uh, if you'd like to turn over to questions or where would you like to go from here? That would be great um, for people actually uh, to come up with their own in terms of uh, Organo right now, feel free to come up with a few that you think you could use. I dare every single one of you get uncomfortable and think to yourself, you know, hey, you, hey actually guys, you don't have to do anything. Or right now you could come up with uh, one of these closes that could transform your business forever and get you loads of customers. Um, let's, let's come up with a few. Uh, Dr. Bob, I don't know whether you can hear me. Um, if there's anything that you would like to say. Um, I think that w one thing, Tom, I heard recently from one of the guys in our business, he said, Ev everyone is already pre-qualified for what you have because, you know, everyone wants to be healthy and everyone wants more money. We have to be so good at what we say because we can unqualify ourselves within a matter of moments by what we say. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if we did a survey of, uh, of 100 people and we ask them, do you want to live longer or die quickly? About 100 people are going to say, yeah, they're pre-sold. So we don't have to sell them on health. We don't have to sell them on uh, uh, taking uh, Ganoderma. Uh, they're already pre-sold. All we have to do is give them an option of where it's going to be easy for them. <laughs> so if we talk to people that are 100% pre-sold, and we give them an option, they're, they're going to normally take the option. And so if we look at it that way, we don't have to sell anybody. They are already pre-sold. They don't need a presentation on the molecular structure of Ganoderma. Yeah, they don't. I mean, after they made the decision, they got some, they'd probably like some. But initially, our brains want to make uh, quick snap decisions on tiny bits of information because we're kind of rushed for other stuff. So that's a, a, a nice way of looking at it. Everybody's pre-sold. We give them an option where it's even better for them. It's up to them. And you know what? If we say to somebody, does it make sense to drink coffee is going to help you live longer instead of coffee is going to help you die quicker? And they say, no, it doesn't make sense. I always consider dying quicker is better math. You know, leave these people alone. They have other problems that we're not qualified to answer. You know, So uh, the decision is, is instantly quick and once they make the yes decision then their mind will say i can allocate additional time for a presentation to hear a lot of cool facts but i've already made up my mind and so now we're talking to pre-soul people that's yeah. all of this and we arrange this by using special words like does it make sense or give them the option they don't have to do anything and for everybody in here you say well that's pretty cool uh let, I'll put in the, the chat here for those who can read it. If you'd like to have a couple uh, audios all free, you know, on listening to magic words, I'll give you a link here. You can download a, a book, Why You Should Do Network Marketing, and some magic words you can say to people. And it's all free. You just have to, uh, I don't know, it, it'll take you to a website and you got to click on free. And if you need more instructions than that, well, you might want to reconsider your business options. But <laughs> here's some places where you can get a whole bunch of just free so people can get their head around it. So when you get a new person started, let them know. People have already made a decision that they like coffee. 
They've already made a decision that they want to live longer. You don't have to sell them anything. You're done. All you have to do is let them know that here's an option where they can make that better right now. And that's it. And they say, well, I don't have to be a salesman. No. You have to be brave. No. You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is just give them this option, and most of them are going to take it. And if they don't, you say, well, what's a good next step? And they'll do halfway, usually. Easiest thing in the world. I mean, there's no training, right? I mean, do you have to teach them how to swallow? No, they already know how to swallow coffee. That's not hard. What instructions do they need? So, um, I think what else can we answer? It would just be great to hear Dr. Bob speak because um, obviously he's someone who's also a big fan of yours and has used many of your strategies to grow the business that he has in Organo. So, Dr. Bob. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm always in awe. So, I, I think up until the most recent, I've read all your books, I bought all the audios. And, and I continue to recommend them because you just make it simple. <laughs> I, I like to go to Einstein. He said, any intelligent fool can make something bigger and more complex, but it takes genius and courage to make it simple. Uh, and you do that every, every single time and you even raise the bar every time. So I'm, I'm very appreciative uh, for that. You've been responsible for, in many ways, millions of doses of something that's helped people get better. And, and I'll tell everybody listening, you know, of the 16,000 people we have around the world, I'm not aware of a single one of our business partners uh, that has had a COVID issue. So even though we're not supposed to say wow. that according wow. to the regulators, right? Um, Canada yeah. was really good, right? And, and, but, you know, you make it so simple, you, you know, you can keep overpaying and waiting in line for a latte or you can have it the best latte anytime you want. And, and by the way, this is coffee with benefits, right? And so I'm gonna encourage everybody to put this into play immediately. And what a great way to do it. Hey, you can either eat your vegetables, you know, or, or you know, what would be better for you, eating your vegetables or not having a Wi-Fi code tonight, you know? So, uh, you know, uh, not eating your vegetables and not having the Wi-Fi code. So that, that's brilliant. You know, do you, do you want to watch TV tonight or do you want to sit in that chair or how, however that goes? So it, it, it's simple and it applies to everything. And I've always appreciated that about you and, and how you teach. And, I, you know, I'm going to just let everybody know, you know, I think we should have uh, everybody g get the link to your latest book and, and really everything you have. And if yeah. you want to be a pro in this business, this, this, this is the most straightforward strategy to become a pro. And then Tom, I want to ask you a question. Pete and I have, uh, you know, we put together a, a video series way back when, simple videos, five minute videos on what Eric Worre calls the seven skills. Uh, would you be interested in doing a, a Zoom on the seven skills from your perspective? Uh, yeah, I, I'll talk about anything, but most of it's like so simple, it doesn't take very long. We're, we're probably better right now than the best used car salesman closer of all time. Just saying these two little things because we understand that people just love being healthy. Well, I, I certainly promise that that we are. You know, you 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 do such a good job with that. But so, you know, I I guess maybe we could apply the same formula to promoting events, and we could in, apply the same formula to inviting to a presentation. Uh, and then you've even pre-framed the presentation, right? I mean, your book on pre-closing, well, if you, if you offer this beforehand, you've closed them before you even open your mouth, which is a, a, a beautiful place to be. Yeah, I think this would be fun. Uh, we say, you know, I have a meeting at my house tonight. Oh, I don't know. I could be busy. Say, relax. You don't have to do anything. Just come and sit, co sit down and drink coffee at home or if you're ready to have an extra paycheck, you can uh, drink coffee at my house and learn how to get paid for drinking coffee. You know, how hard is it? <laughs> you know, you, every, every time I hear you, my, my world expands and becomes smaller and simpler at the same time. So thank you for that. I, I, uh, I just want to say to everyone here that, you know, Tom has given, him, given us his time. I think it's like in the morning now. It must be half past 12 right now for you in the morning. Is that right? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, that's no Thank problem. I'm a networker, a night guy, so it's different. 
I just, you know, I, I, I like you. Sorry, I, I like you. I learned that from you. There's so many things I learned from you. Like, I'm just curious. I love saying that to people because I know people go, what? What are you curious about? And I'm definitely going to use these. And I think that, uh, you know, what's going to be your biggest takeaway? These things are so simple to do. They're so simple not to do. But what would be great is if we all went out of our way to practice using these and inviting people to come uh, on Saturday, where we've got myself, Dr. Bob, and Aiden, who's here as well. You know, like I oh. said, these... I'm sorry? Yeah, that's awesome. You're going to have an awesome Saturday. Yeah, because this team, is grow it, this team is growing and it's growing fast. And one of the reasons it's growing fast is because we have a nice culture. But these are skills. And the more we practice them, the better we become. So let's just go out and, and do what we need to do. I'd love to know what's been your biggest takeaway. And I'm also... In the chat box, do you have any right now that you would like to share that you've just come up with? Um, yeah. Or is yeah, anyone? Put it in the chat box or a question or anything is fine. But if you're going to fill up Saturday, all you have to think of, how can I get this to get more people to come Saturday? And you could say, you don't have to get involved Saturday. You can watch cartoons. Your life will be the same. Or we can drink some fancy coffee for free. Uh, listen to uh, Coach Pete and Dr. Bob and maybe learn how to be millionaires. Yeah, they have a choice. Yeah. So uh, or does, it, does it make sense to spend Saturday morning listening to Coach Pete and Dr. Bob and maybe we can learn how to never show up for work again instead of staying at home and worrying about our money and worry about this COVID-19 and all this other stuff. And it's just an easy choice. And if you're brand new on this call, you can already do the best meeting ever. All you have to do is stand up in your home and start off by saying to my mind, in my mind, everybody's pre-sold. They want to live longer. Yeah, they want to live longer. They want more money. They're pre-sold. All I have to say is, you know, you know, thanks for coming to my little meeting here tonight and relax. You don't have to do anything. Your life will be the same. And they all go, oh. or if you'd rather learn how to drink coffee and get rich, um, we could talk about that. And then don't say anything. And I could say, well, tell us how to drink coffee and get rich. And they're already sold before you started the, you know, life is so much easier when we close people right away. Done. Let's go out there, guys, and, uh, and practice. You know, because now, now is the time, right? There's never been a better time for us to, to grow what we've already started. So, uh, and please go and get Tom's book, How to Build Your Network Marketing Nutrition Business Fast. I love all of his books because uh, I'm not, I find reading a bit difficult uh, and your books are always bite-sized enough for just learning and applying. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for everything you do. Is there anything we can do for you? No, all I can say is between now and Saturday, invite as many people as you can and, you know, figure it out. You might say, does it make sense to spend Saturday morning learning how to become a millionaire instead of staying at home and watching cartoons? And that'll be enough to get people to come. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll definitely feedback. I'll definitely feedback to you and it would be great to you know, get you on another call. Thank you so much for uh, your time today, Tom. I, we really, really appreciate it. Hey, Can love it. And bye to everybody and to Dr. Bob. And uh, I'll see you all in person after they have planes again. Thank you. How long have you been, hey, long you been in Bangkok? Uh, we've been locked down here for about six weeks, but you know, I don't mind. I'm, I'm an introvert. This is great for me. So, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. Thank you for making our world better. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Hey, goodbye. Good luck. Hey, thank you. Hey, everyone else, uh, feel free to take a picture. You know, a picture of a thousand words, and you might want to take a picture to remember what we did here today and maybe even post it on social media and let people know that there's something going on here, right? Because there is something going on. It's called a revolution. Hey, Dr. Bob, is there anything you'd like to say uh, before, before you leave? Apply it. You know, we, we, we get so far by listening. I know I can feel everybody's brain turning on nicely, but apply it. Yeah. I mean, so I was actually getting a call coming in.
Does it make sense to apply it or? I, or yeah, no, there you go. There you go. I need to work on it, right? We all Relax. need to work. You don't, you don't have to change a thing and your life will go on just as it was or you can apply it and start building your dream life with each invitation. So there you go. Anyone else want to have a go? Hardest thing to do is just start, right? That's how we have to be prepared to fail at anything and make a fool of ourselves. But you just got to give this shit a go because it, well, it's not shit. I mean, it's a, it's a real deal, you know? Pardon my French, by the way. Um, I thought that was British. What? To say, pardon my, oh yeah, pardon my British. Yeah. Yes. But, um, Dr. Bob, thank you so much for everything that you guys are doing and giving us your time here. The last few Saturdays have made a big difference to us over here you know and in South Africa and everyone that's here right now so um, I think most of you know this I said this the other day that uh, British Airways have just literally got rid of 12,000 people I just also heard today that Marriott hotels they're very unlikely going to be sticking around and we're going to be hearing more and more and more people that are looking for something and we owe it to ourselves and to them to let everybody know let them decide they already qualified it's just that if you use these skills, you're going to have much more of a chance to get them on our side. There's never been a better time for us to grow Organo. And I, you know what, Dr. Bob, I was thinking the other day that all the coffee shops here are closed, like Costa, Cafe Nero, and it's just another incredible time to get more coffee drinkers who then get hooked on our coffee and never want to drink any other coffee again because that's what we have here. We're all addicts of the greatest, healthiest in the world right say i if you're an addict put your hand up i yeah look look at all these addicts how many more addicts should we go and get um there you go guys thank you so much we'll see you on saturday uh, for the, the event with dr bob and uh have enjoy the rest of your evening and go practice but i mean of course you don't have to do anything or you can start using these skills and transform your life today you know that was pretty good right Coinetics. Big love to all. Great Enjoy to the beautiful guys. day. Sorry? Uh, big love to all. See you some of this Saturday. Terrible view. All Look, at view. Look at Dr. Bob's view. That's a terrible view. Are you <laughs> kind of or what? It's rough, Pete. It's rough. You know, but uh, you can, you, you don't have to do anything or you can partner with me and let's get bigger, better, stronger, faster, smarter, healthier uh, together. So easy enough, right? Uh, Dr. Bob, give us the recording, please, of this when, when you can. Yeah, you got it. Yep, okay. it's recording to the cloud because I pushed the record button for my phone. So it'll take a little download, but I'll get it to you. Okay. Love you. Love everyone. Big, Big love to all. Big love. Bye-bye for now. Chair Jens, thank you very much.